what's going on guys shadow here i'm the husband of this beautiful young lady here who's going to be doing her makeup throughout this video um i'm going to do the voiceover on this and fair warning i don't have a single clue what any of this stuff is or pretty much anything i pretty much know just what lipstick is and i think i know maybe what eyeliner is but we'll see here as we go along so the first thing she did there was she went and put some uh, some kind of cream stuff there on her face in little blotchy spots. I don't I don't really know what that's for, but yeah. Now she's moving on to her eyebrows, and me personally, I don't have this problem. I have some extremely bushy eyebrows, so I'm more or less uh, trying to get rid of mine while she's trying to color it in or something. Um, yeah, it looks like she's kind of just making it more full looking, I guess you could say. All right, and now we're gonna move on and I guess inspect the, oh no, it's a, it's a smaller side of the same brush. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing now. It's the, it's the same thing. Um, there, there we go. There's a different brush. That's what we needed. We needed a different brush. That one was, we've used that one too long for now. Okay, so we got this, this little brush here and, and it makes extremely straight lines. Um, I guess for the outline of your eyebrows, sure yeah okay so she's she's gonna put on this little line here and it's gonna make it all nice and defined and straight and get rid of any kind of squiggliness or something but we still have we still have the blotches from the original cream we put on I don't, I don't know when we're gonna get back to that I guess it's in a few minutes and now now I understand why doing makeup takes so long because we just we're gonna dance around the whole time okay um yeah so now we're gonna do the top of the eyebrow and kind of make it blend in with our forehead and apparently get it on our hair a little bit and not notice and we're gonna move on to the other eye and we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do the bottom of it to define it as well and the top and squiggle it all in and make it blend and all that fun stuff so now we have these little triangle eyebrows that before we had little bits of hair now we got some full looking triangle eyebrows and we're gonna go back in now and that's this little that thing looks dangerous she didn't even do anything with it okay anyways so we got this this in one 1,010, I don't know, 1,110 something color maybe? Maybe that's the color of it. Okay, so we're going to do more little blotches. I guess now we're going to cover up those original blotches that we made on our face here. So, oh, we got some on our nose. Okay, so now we're going to go, I guess, full face with this stuff. So I'm assuming this is, I could be terribly wrong, but I'm going to go with foundation. We're going to go with foundation on this. I'm probably way off, but yeah. So we're going to use this little round brush thing with this little bitty handle that looks like it's broken or something anyways we're gonna use this little brush here and we're gonna go all over our face make everything match and I would just like to point out before we go any further that this big fat brush here just lets you kind of cover more face at once that's that's the purpose of this big fat brush um, we got like six different colors here I'm not sure which one she's gonna use okay so we got uh, a lighter than that what we're calling foundation it looks lighter so we're gonna put that under our eyeball here and I don't I would get that all in my eyeball. eyeball. Anyways, um, we're going to go through and put this, um, um, I think this is called contouring or something. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So we're going to put that on our cheekbones here, right under our eyeballs, and just make it stick out a little more. And now we're going to do, okay, now we're going to just play with music. Okay, let's get get back to the makeup, back to the makeup. Come on, this is what takes so long. It should be like three minutes. We should be done with this. And we're going to continue to dance. All right, we're going to do the other side now. The other side of our face um, dance some more because that's productive we're gonna do the other side of our face and oh my gosh just do your makeup okay so <laughs> we're gonna continue to dance and partially do our makeup because that's the way women work apparently and we're gonna make some fishy faces and then we got this see I'm telling you this is con contouring or it's something like that I know it is okay so we're gonna put it on our nose now because you want the top part of your nose to be more 
obvious, more blingy than the sides of your nose. Sure, we'll go with that. All right, so we got this little rubber ball thing we're using though. And now we got this little pink tube and that is gonna go on our eyelids because that's, uh, that's what makes your eyelids stick out more, uh, be more just like the contouring thing for our face, but we're not gonna use that big fat brush on our eyeballs. And we got some, see, I know this one. No, oh fuck, I don't know this one. This one's not lipstick. It looked like lipstick. It looked like lipstick. Maybe this is contouring. And apparently fishy faces are required for this. Um, but we, we just drew a line here from our mouth to like our ear. And now we're gonna brush it in and make it blend a little better because it just looks like you took lipstick and rubbed it across your cheek. But apparently that's not what it was. All right, so now we're going to continue to blend the other side of our face also and make sure everything matches, and then we're just going to disappear for a while and come back and adjust the camera and get it closer, and we're going to use more stuff on our... Oh, this is the glittery stuff. This is this stuff's glittery. Don't get this on your clothes. You'll get every glitter everywhere. It's a terrible time. Um, but yeah, so this stuff you, you just put on your eyelids, and it makes them a little more shiny and a little more obvious and prominent on your facial features. And we're going to do the other eyebrow or eyelid now as well. And we're going to come up here with this, I think this brush we used earlier for our eyelids. And we're going to make sure it just kind of blends a little better because we just layered it on there. Just keep layering things on our old face here. And we're just rubbing it in, rubbing it in, making it look all nice and pretty. And we're going to do the other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to blend it in, make sure the bottom of our eyebrows where we've done that stuff earlier is going to match our eyelids. and Make sure everything blends real good. You don't want it to look like you just painted stuff on your face. You know, everybody's seen those kind of people and nobody likes those people. But then you're going to go ahead with this uh, ball sponge thing. I don't, I don't know what this thing is. We're going to just blot some more stuff here under our eyebrows or eyeballs. And I would just like to take this moment to point out that if somebody could come up with some kind of makeup that just done all this stuff, like on its own, it just knew what to do and what color to be where, you'd, you'd be a, like, you never have to work again. But now we're going to put more on our nose and continue to dance because that's what gets the makeup done faster. And we're just going to leave it there like that and do our eye lashes with this little wand thing. And those things are terrifying, by the way. If you poked yourself an eyeball, that would hurt like really bad. So don't don't poke yourself an eyeball with that. But we're going to, you got to go in an upward motion and it makes them all frilly and stuff. Again, not a problem I have, but Claudia seems to think she does. And then we're going to put this lip. Is this lipstick or lip gloss? Why is it not in a tube thing? I think this is lip gloss. We're gonna go with lip gloss on this one. And we're gonna put it on our lips and it works kinda like lip gloss, but it helps protect them and it's cold outside, so I guess we need that up here in Minnesota. Um, and then, she's talking to me, so don't worry about that. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna brush in this stuff that we put on earlier, but I still, no, I don't know why we left it there for five minutes, but whatever, moving on. All right, and now we're gonna blend the side of our nose because we put the extra six layers on our nose there and let it sit. So we gotta blend it in and make sure it looks all nice and pretty. And then we're gonna go back with this brush and blend in our cheekbones and the what I'm calling contouring section that we did here. And we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost completed with our little task. And now we're going to do a little dancing fit because we're excited because we're almost done. And a little more touch-ups, and then we're gonna go into a full-blown dancing fit. And don't let the video you know confuse you this dance and fit lasted every bit of 10 minutes it was a full-blown 10 minute dancing fit she went into it's it's a little sped up on here but i promise you it was like 10 minutes long but we're done look we're all nice and pretty bye